Hello everyone and welcome back to my farm. Well, this isn't my farm, but if you might remember in the last episode, uh, we've gotten the truck here and we've brought back this brand new international uh, from the old farm because we had it upgraded. Our neighbor did it for us for a small fee and it's really nice. I got a strap down here on my flatbed trailer and uh, it's May now. I took winter off so can't wait to get back during spring and see how the farm's doing. Now if you don't remember I had an assistant help me run the farm while I was gone. That's why I don't really have that much money. Because I have to pay the assistant. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ugh, get me out of here. Oh, I jackknifed my own trailer. Oh, no. Uh, here, let me use a step to get in. Let's see if I can fix this. But I managed to jackknife my own trailer. It's crazy annoying. Oh, sorry everyone. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Oh, it's cause... Oh, that's why I jackknifed. It's cause these people were blocking the... The road. But yeah, you all get through. Yeah, you all go on. I'll have my tractor sit in the bushes. Alright, well that's why I jackknifed. Oh, that's... Well, that's crazy. The reason I jackknifed is because all these people hogging up the road. Granted, I'm in a truck with big agricultural machinery on the back, but still. Alright, this is getting in line. Back this up. Alright. Why is it not letting me turn on? Ah, that's because my wheel's off the ground. Two wheel drive, not a four wheel steer. go through this person's hedge fence. Here, try that. No, it's a mountain. Pull, 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 pull. <coughs> I left my windows down. Alright, um, I'm gonna cut footage here and I'll wait uh, till I figure out my conundrum to get back to you guys. Alright, I'm back. I figured out my issue. It was because my tractor on the back was too far up front and the weight balance was throwing the whole thing off. So I readjusted it so the tractor's more towards the back of the trailer and that allows me to have my front wheels on the ground. I, it must have slid up there when I was uh, driving on a the person's lawn. I, I asked them if I could pull up there to start my video and they said yes. And I guess while I'm here, I can check in and see what the junkyard's doing. Oh, looks like they got a new shipment of parts in. Huh. Okay. There's my uh, old Massey. And there's uh, that Porsche tractor and my Z-Tour over there. I think there's any new tractors over here. I don't think they have anything new for me to use. Make sure I don't hit that. I maybe shouldn't bring the truck. Oh, ooh, I hit something. Yeah, I won't bring the truck in. Bad idea. What did I hit? Oh, I just, oh, I just destroyed the back end of that car. Uh, but, I mean, it's junkyard anyway, so you know what, it's fine. Oh, is it raining? Oh, that's annoying. 
We got over here, we got... That's not a flatbed trailer on that truck. We might have to use that for, uh, this area now. Which is now a full-on little factory back here. Because they wanted to have this become a junkyard and a place of business. That's why I, that's why I was doing sheep, so I could partner with them. Because the junkyard, uh, is going to give me pretty good deals to just start partnering with them. I give them a cut of the revenue. I think I just have to drag the, the car across. Something got hit there. Uh, can I bring it through here? Or is that too wide? It's too wide, isn't it? Ever so slightly. But if I keep pulling, I'm sure it'll work. Stuck? Am I stuck? Get back in. Well, let me uh, try to use the new tow ball feature on the back here. Where I can attach it. Yeah, let me start it back in. Getting pro I'm getting somewhere. I probably just shouldn't have brought the truck and trailer in here. But I guess now that it's raining, it don't matter anyways. Checking on the dealership. If they have anything new in. No, but uh, that JCB over there would most certainly be nice for the farm. <laughs> if only they give it to us for free, right? That'd be nice. That's not how the world works. Alright, it appears we're pulling back up towards the farm. Uh, now I remember ordering some lumber to be brought over. And I asked my assistant uh, to, you wouldn't believe this, assist me. Ooh, the roads are stuck there, huh? So, let's see. Oh, ooh, what, did I hit one of the concrete pillars? Did. How wide does this trailer need to be turned? Alright, that's good. Hey, and there's my farm all. Thanks, I got back to my truck. There we go. Ooh. Oh, whoa! Did I actually hit the truck with that? That's why it was so hard to open. And it's fine. Stuff like that happens. There's the farm wall. Uh, I can't put any of these under cover right now. So I'm just gonna park it up here. Go inside. Yeah, this is where the truck would go normally. 
sheep here. I'm sorry, sheep. You don't have any cover. Oh, it looks like uh, they must have bred. Because I only ordered, like, what, one of each sheep? Yeah, here's my lumber. Oh, and some metal scraps, too. Nice. Yeah, and brick. I'm going to need all of these because I'm going to build a bigger sheep pasture. I saw some blueprints. And me being, you know, a certified draftsman, I figured out the requirements I need and how much it was going to cost. And I'm pretty sure I have all the materials here for that bigger sheep barn. Oh, nice. As my assistant has been collecting the wool for me. Nice. It's a bit too heavy, though. Well, that's excellent. Uh, let's see how my machines are doing. Got my two... I'd say my medium tractors. Got my Ford 7810. And my Massey 3095. Both looking very nice. Got my Ford F600 with the flatbed trailer. And we got my dirty old cedar. And my Massey 212 wagon. And here we got the mower. Yeah, the windrower we have to give back because it was only on rent. How's the field doing? Oh, they must have done a new cut. Unless that was still the same... Unless it's, yeah, unless that's still the same cut that I left it on. But you know what? It's been months. I left in November and came back in May. And let's see how much they still have. Oh yeah, they still have basically the full wagon. I am not worried about that. Well, I guess I'll uh, hunker down inside until tomorrow. That way we can uh, move the international and stuff like that and get the farm back up and running. Speaking of uh, things made by international, beautiful tractor. God, oh, they left the door open. Some people. Oh, I actually hit myself with it. Alright, but yeah, I'm gonna hunker down in here, probably watch some uh, History Channel. Because I got, um, I think it, well, oh, what was it called? It was the, like the American TV package or whatever. Because there's, apparently in like this area of the UK, not this specific town, like in this general like province, or I, I don't know what they call, I don't think they call counties here, uh, but it's funny. Uh, there was a, a lot of uh, apparently American tourists that just came to live here. Unlike me, you know, who I, you know, made a farm here. But, it's funny, all these American tourists, uh, haven't been watching any British TV. And apparently have been, like, streaming American shows. So now they have these American TV packages in this area. Where you can get American channels. It's a bit more expensive. It's, poo quite expensive. But it's pretty cool. So I have, um... A lot of uh, channels that I've come to be familiar with, like History Channel and True TV, which are my two favorite channels. So I'm just going to sit here and watch TV and I'll uh, get to you tomorrow. Ah, welcome back to tomorrow. Alright, we got the international on the trailer, but before I mess with that, I got a notification that, uh, the arcade machine is up and running and the game they got on it was uh they could get any game like it was made for something called harp lifter but they got um an old arcade game called uh dig dug to work on here so i got a quarter in my pocket let's uh put it in and uh, see what happens
Ah, time flies when you're having fun. Um. All right, so we got the international here. I'm gonna need to take off. Let me remove these tension belts on the back. And I don't need to drop down the ramp. I could just here climb up. <sighs> me. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, let me pull this back out. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this thing's got good suspension on it. Uh, it's a bit warm, so I'll turn up the AC a bit. Ah, uh, but here's the thing. Where am I gonna put it? I can probably move those two and slide it in. Oh yeah, I also need something for sheep. I guess that's what the Massey can do. I guess the Massey can just be sheep duty. You know, it can uh, grab the forge wagon and grab the, the water tanker. So here, let me step out of here. Go grab the Massey. How drone this one quite a bit. Let me see if it still runs. Like a charm. Alright. I'm gonna pull this one out for sheep duty. I'm pretty sure this one still has the smart link on it. Yeah, this is something I love about a uh, smart link system. Is that I don't need to get out and automatically attach. I can just back it up. And I get a little thing on my front screen here. Yeah, right right up here where it asks me if I want to attach to it. And if I hit go, it pulls in. And yeah, I'll dump some water. I um, also have to readjust myself though, and the water tanker. Alright, cool. Good how far it needs to be. Yeah, I think that, yeah, I think that's good. All right, and I'll uh, turn off the tractor to save gas. Hop out. Yeah. The, this I'm kind of wedged in between the Massey and the steel fence. 
So I might have to. Here, let me try this. No. Ah, am I, am I out? Can I climb over my tractor? I can. Whew. Whew. <laughs> There's a tight squeeze back there. But you know what? It's fine. Alright. Now we can take my big old international and, and park this back up in the shed. Yeah. Oh no, I accidentally left it on. Can't have that. Look at that. Now this is looking truly American. Oh yeah, and you guys might have noticed these. I, I think you guys can see them, these circles. Because I've been re-watching the videos and you can see these circles. There are a couple spaces. These are uh, things from an app I have on my phone. It, it's called, uh, like, I don't know, it's called like landmark notifications or something like that. And it's a camera app, and you can mark locations and give them like a certain icon uh, where people can see, you know, what they do or whatever. And for the sheep, I've been trying to cover them up so you guys couldn't see them well, so it doesn't detract from your viewing experience. But I figured I, I wanted to know what you guys thought. You know, if you like having these things and that's not good uh yeah i want to know if you liked having those uh like circles like i think you guys can see one for the mechanic shop i am pretty sure it's uh what is it like a little wrench for you guys yeah you can see like a little wrench i think it's right in front of the door here i don't know if you guys like these i can always uh delete the app um it does drain the battery a bit, but it's fine. Uh, but I'd like to guys know, you know, what you think. If you think it's a good idea. Uh, let me move the trailer somewhere. Yeah, I, I would just like to know your guys' opinion. I, I really value that in this series. Oh yeah, I've been hearing a rumor that they want to put in, uh... Like an interstate or whatever over here. It kinda near the farm. Like uh not not an interstate. Uh I th I think what are they called over here? Motorway. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're called motorways. Cause I was asking directions at uh what what was it called? Uh what it was it was called like I don't know, Tesco or whatever. Uh, when I was first driving over here, um, and they were talking about like some sort of like motorway, like it was like the A, I don't know, it was the A something. Uh, but yeah, I heard they're trying to put in a new one here, because apparently the people that uh, bought the newbies old farm. Apparently are like some big shot government people like they're government subsidized and uh, You know have like a high standing With uh, UK was it like the House of Lords I think For like this area apparently they've been like land barons So they want to put in like a bigger road or whatever like make the big road in front of the dealership like a motorway or whatever and uh, widen up the road out here but I don't know if they'll do that it's crazy you can see what they're doing oh my god that is a huge barn they're putting up oh, let's see if I can go uh, get a sneak peek at what they're doing here yeah let me drive the truck back over here and uh, put it in park and just walk over, maybe climb the hedge a bit. 
but I want to see uh, what the uh, new people are up to. Uh, no, I think I'm too close for my door to open. Yeah, here we go. Alright, yeah, I want to see what these new people have been uh, up to. Because they moved here in October, right after the newbies sold their land. Uh, well, they didn't sell. I think the, the owner of it passed away. Or something like that. I can't remember. It's been months. But yeah, let me... Uh... No, this field. I haven't seen work on this field ever since I moved here. So let me climb over the hedge fence. Yeah, there, there's nobody on this land. I've checked. Come up, yeah, that they still have the newbie sign for some reason. I think it's because they like the cultural aspect about it. But I think I think I hear people talking, so let's quiet it down here. Ooh. Yeah, they're they're building like an empire over there. You see that? Cautious. They have like wheel loaders and semi trucks. Pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, it turns out we got like uh, apparently like royalty or whatever. <laughs> They're not royalty, but something of that sort. Moving in down the road. That's crazy. But I, I hope they don't make the motorway in. Because that would mean uh, I would have to sell off my land. And I really don't want to sell off my land. Because this is such a big farmyard and not really the biggest field, but it's a grass field. What do you expect? And I actually quite like it here. The weather's nice. But yeah, so there's the tractors. Um, I don't really need to do anything right now on the farm. I'll start building this in the next couple of days. Get a couple uh, handymen around the town to help me with it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess this is where I'll leave you. I mean, I I feel really bad to just leave you on like a kind of a bad note right here but I have no other option um you know what? I'll move uh, the farm all and I wanted to write it again I about this tractor it's so cool I just love how it runs. Yeah. Well, you made the steering system, so what? It's, it's all the way down to the swivel base, all the way up, and hits a diagonal. Interesting. Alright, uh, I'm gonna have to leave you guys here. I really, really don't want to, but I have no other choice. Um, so, yeah. That's it for me. Um, see you in the next one.